This is an extremely advanced duo slash trial next guide by Born for PVM and Smoky 9112. This is video three, which consists of two parts: the blood phase and crewer. I just wanted to say something before we start, and that's I'm sorry for not coming out with the rest of the next guide. My computer has been having issues, and videos four and five will come out soon. This is part one: the blood phase. Okay, so if you're learning, wait for your team to confirm Osama's death. Uh, I mean, Umbra's death and move next to the west side. This is extremely important for two reasons. One, less reavers, and two, closer reavers. I'll pause the video and show you where next should be when you start the blood phase. Before you hit next and move on to the blood phase, get next inside the green circle. This way she will only spawn reavers west of the green line shown on the radar, meaning they would be closer to you. You can also have necks within the red circles on the radar, but this means that reavers will spawn anywhere west of the red line, giving them more room to be further away from you. The closer the reavers are to you, the less you have to run, and the easier the blood phase will be. Another reason getting necks inside the circles is because she spawns less reavers when she's on the west side. This makes killing necks a lot easier. Once necks spawns her reavers, hit them twice with the rapier and then claw necks and drink a recovery special as soon as you can. You want to drink a recovery special early, and since necks' attacks are timed, Every time she siphons, 30 seconds will have passed, which makes remembering to recovery special much easier. Claw as many times as you can this phase. I suggest leaving reavers with low life points and getting that extra hit on necks. Don't hit a reaver if it's already almost dead. If you think a reaver is under 100 life points, don't bother hitting it. Use ruby both see the whole phase. Another technique is having one player bring a dragon defender and getting the closest reaver. I'll pause the video here to explain. Since next tanks based on distance, the person wearing the Dragon Defender won't tank since he's, the cl since he's getting the closest Reaver, while the person wearing the Divine gets the furthest Reaver. Another important part of the blood phase is counting. When next says, I demand a blood sacrifice, count every hit after that until 5. This is her saying I demand a blood sacrifice. This includes the blood sacrifice hit. Notice the first hit after next says I demand a blood sacrifice will hit everyone. This hit counts as one. Count every hit after that until five. Once you count to five of next's attacks, get off next before she siphons. You don't want to heal her in a duo or a trio, so I recommend all players try to count. Also, it is important to spread out during the blood phase. Next is a blood barrage and will hit multiple people if they're close enough to each other. This will save your life points and keep next from healing extra during the blood phase. Okay, once you get to crewer, have one person stand further back while the other wears a dragon defender. Sometimes next will melee you, resulting in you being closer to next and the person wearing the dragon defender. If you're standing on the two green circles, the people in the red circles will not be affected by next's attacks. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Video 4 and 5 are coming soon.